community sentiment, we can create something extraordinary here. I will not stand by as mayor on the sidelines of education. I don't care what it's going to take, but Newark, New Jersey is going to show that every one of our children, we recognize they have limitless potential, but we are going to show that we can create a school system that serves their potential. And that is worth the risk, it is worth the challenge, and I believe the city of Newark is going to rally to that end. And, and, no, hold on one second, let's go, let's go, please. I would assume you have more money to match the grant. Second question I would ask to all three of you, Governor, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, and Mayor, do you have any concept of a vision for what you would like to see in the classroom of all of these schools in Newark? As I think you and the Governor said, within three and a half years of the end of your term when you want results on that conference call yesterday. So two things, we are getting extraordinarily offers, extraordinary offers of support from all around the country and within the Newark community. And we have very significant um, uh, matches that have already been made and we'll announce them going forward. Uh, tr uh, tremendous people, names that are already known within the Newark community, and a lot of new people have come forward, not just offered to match the $100 million, but offered to put strategic resources in other areas of a larger plan. And some of it, frankly, is not just focused on education. A lot of people understand that this is a tremendous community organizing effort that we're proposing here, and we're going to need resources to do that. So we're very confident at the pace of the matching right now specifically, but more, in, uh, more importantly, we're enthused at the level of in support and energy that's coming out uh, from within the city of Newark already and other people that want to help create a national model of educational excellence. And then the second thing is, again, I, I can answer this question over and over again as much as you want, but the reality is I have very determined views about what great education is. But if I try to impose that in the Newark community, it's never going to have traction. We need to give the Newark residents a chance to speak up with their voices about how we're going to move forward. There's no secrets about great education in Newark. If you stop people and ask them what are good schools really performing and what are not, what are good, what's good teaching, there is a lot of understanding of that in the Newark community. And for once and for all, let's trust Newarkers to stand up and not only define what at great education, but be willing to make the common commitment to what that educational excellence is going to be. Hi. Hold on, hold on. With the person with the microphone, I'm going to ask yes. real quick. Mayor, can I get the governor and Mark to answer that as well? Uh, I just say that, you know, my view of this is that we're not looking to reinvent the wheel, Brian. You know, we saw examples in that movie today, and there are examples all around the country of the way this can work. And, and we're talking today specifically about the city of Newark, but we'll also, you know, during the next week be talking more broadly about the entire state of New Jersey and, and suggestions and recommendations that I'm going to have regarding education reform that we'll roll out over the course of the next week that's much broader across the entire state of ideas that I think need to be part of any plan uh, that improves New Jersey's education system. So, uh, you know, I don't think that the mayor, myself, or Mark pretend to be educational experts. What we're going to do is make sure that we may involve the community uh, and that we also involve educational experts who have had success already uh, to be able to give us the advice on what the best way is to move forward. Uh, it's not only people from outside the country, but we also have educational experts here in the city of Newark who are already showing success in certain areas, and they have to be brought into the table as well to help to make sure we replicate this model across the entire, across the entire city. And I have recommendations we're going to make across the entire state. I don't know if Mark has anything you want to add? Yeah. I I mean, I don't have, uh, like, I think a lot of times when, when people give gifts like that, it's to get a specific thing done, and that's not what's the case here. I mean, we're doing this to give uh, Mayor Booker and Governor Christie um, as much flexibility as possible in getting as many of the things done as Corey just talked about, Mayor just talked about. So. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go with people who have the microphone. If we can pass the microphone around, and, and yeah. Esmeralda will help do that. Raise your hand if you'd like the microphone next. And there's two okay. of them working around. Hi, I'm Kathy Eric Dowd with People Magazine, and this is for you, Mr. Zuckerberg, a couple of questions. The first is, even though you are still in your 20s, do you view this gift as a step towards shaping your legacy? And overall, what do you hope your legacy will be? In other words, how do you hope you will be remembered? Sorry, in advance. You'll have to come back in like 20 or 30 years and ask me that question. <laughs> Uh, also, you mentioned yesterday during the conference call that education is very important to 
you and your family. Yeah. Can you talk about how your parents personally fostered your education and your clearly uh, computer genius and how they continue to influence yeah. you today? Yeah, I mean, my grandmother was a teacher. Um, so she instilled that in, in my mom that this is really important and my parents just worked really hard growing up and they, they both worked to make sure that me and my three sisters could go to good schools, right? And, um, and I went to public schools through, through 10th grade and had the opportunity to go to a, a really good private school for the last two years of, of high school and I went to a really good college. And I mean, that undoubtedly has played a massive role in the, the opportunities that I have. I mean, if I didn't have that education, there's no way that I'd be standing up here right now, right? So I mean, our goal is just to make sure that we can give back and give as many people those opportunities as I had yeah, as possible. Yes, sir. Well, I'm Bob Bowden, director of the Cartel Movie, and I wanted to uh, ask you guys in general, in today's New York Times, Joseph Del Grosso, president of the New York Teachers Union, was quoted saying, vouchers is not going to happen, unquote. And he also said that he added that the union would support only limited expansion of charters. So I wanted to ask in general if you guys had thoughts on that, and specifically if there comes to be a choice between what's good for the union leadership and what's good for children, will the governor be too shy to take on the teachers union in that kind of context? Okay, so this was one of those times where the partnership between uh, the governor and I uh, shows its best color color. Um, because the governor looked at me and said, either you step up for the microphone or I'm gonna grab it and start going off. Uh, and I still think he's gonna, he's gonna do it because I don't think the word shy and Governor Chris Christie has ever been used in the same sentence. Uh, private education either. And I'm on the record for supporting uh, opportunity scholarships and the legislation that's in the, in the legislature right now. But that's not what this is about. This is not about private school. This is a, it's an effort about the public school system in the city of Newark. So if Joe wants to say he's gonna be against uh, 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 vouchers, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to battle him out in Trenton, because uh, that's where that issue is gonna be decided. Here in Newark, we're talking about public education, and, and I, for one, believe that that's where the overwhelming majority of our kids will be educated, and that's where we need to have focus. And my last thing, the governor's gonna come up here now. He's patting me on the back. Uh, this is why I said it's gonna get very interesting. You're a very smart man, because this is gonna make for good color. Um, uh, but I will say the last thing that, um, my attitude as, as being the guy that the governor is trusting to lead this broader community effort, my thing is everybody needs to come to the table as partners and we're willing to work with folks during this community organizing stage. But once the community has spoken and we have decided which way to go, that's the, the way I'm gonna defend and this is not gonna make everybody happy. There's no safe way uh, to be, have effective school reform. Uh, not everybody is gonna be pleased, uh, but the only people I'm worried about and concerned about are the children of the city of Newark not the adults. My concern right now is ensuring that every child has a pathway to achieve their dreams. Governor Christie. Uh, I think it's, I think those comments are, are uh, illustrative of a bigger point. So here we are this morning and you've heard a whole bunch of different people up here, standing up here and different people speaking, all talking in that panel that we had over at the PAC, all talking about what's possible, what's achievable, what we can and should be doing. And then you have the teachers union saying, what's not gonna happen? Listen, this is the problem. We're about yes, they're about no. We're about tomorrow, they're about yesterday. We're about the kids, they're about their paychecks. It's that simple. So now, the question's gonna be, how do we change that? How do we bring people to understand that that is the choice and that this is what we have to do now to have a pathway towards success for the kids of this city and of our state? And the challenge for us is going to be how to make that happen. Uh, there will be a bunch of different ideas about that, I suspect. Uh, but I will tell you this, I'm tired of hearing no. I'm tired of hearing no. I'm tired of hearing can't. I'm tired of hearing won't. I'm just tired of it. Because I'm watching failure surround me. And it sickens me. And the question I'd have for those who oppose this is, why doesn't it sicken you? 
And the only explanation that I can come up with is blatant, bald self-interest. So you decide. People in Newark are going to decide. You know, whose interests do they have at heart? Themselves and their children? Try to make a better Newark and a better New Jersey and a better America? Or those people who continue on to defend what is clearly past failure? The mayor talked about 15 years of state control. It's been a failure. And so now the question is, do we want to keep banging our heads against the wall or not? Um, not my inclination. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'd love to do it in a cooperative way. Be happy to. Uh, but if we can't do it in a cooperative way, we'll have to do it in a way with the support of the people of the state that uh, gets it done anyway. That's why I'm the governor. That's why I'm the governor to make those decisions. You're the, you're the microphone. Anthony behind has the microphone. Thank you. Jay Dow from. Jay. Hey, hey Joan. The story here is the person with the microphone asked the question, not if you just keep answering. So there's a chair there. If you'd like to sit down and get a microphone and ask the question, that's great. Otherwise, I'm not answering the question. Go ahead. Well, listen, try harder. You'll get a microphone. Jay, how are you? Jay Dow from CBS News. I'm not going to step into that rumble. Thank you, Governor. This question is for Mayor Booker and Mr. Zuckerberg. We've heard the governor talk about the state paying out $900 million a year for Newark students. Mary, you've talked about your goals, your larger goals, but is it about closing schools, hiring more teachers, expanding programs? Specifically, what do you think needs to be done with this money to address the most serious problems facing the school district today? And how do you ward off the perception that this gift is just throwing more money at the problem? First of all, let's, be, let's answer that with a simple affirmative, that money alone is not going to solve the Newark problems. It's not necessarily a money issue. This money is going to give us the flexibility and hopefully, and I believe it will be, strategically invested to give us the competitive advantage to transform our system. And the very first thing specifically that we're going to do is run a community organizing effort locally so that we can begin by the end of the year to come up with the kind of specifics that you're looking for right now. If we now come in uh, imposed from Trenton or wherever, uh, if we impose a certain uh, set of ideas that are not embraced by our community, we're not going to get the kind of support to create the kind of change we want to, we want to have. We can no longer s accept incremental change or no change at all when we have 54 percent of our kids uh, graduating from high school. That is unacceptable. But the first important ingredient in our success as a community is having an honest, direct, candid community conversation about the kind of reforms that are going to be necessary. And the governor was very, very pointed. Are we going to have just a few people at the table who are influencing change? And those few people at the table have not been getting it done. Everybody in the community must come to the table. And when we have that kind of form, that kind of conversation, and come up with those, 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 uh, those core community principles in a larger plan, that's when we roll up our street sleeves and starting to implement it and fight those people who are going to resist that plan and resist that change. I know we said one more question, but I, I would like to answer a, a couple more. Right